Welcome to the special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. The federal government is still weeks away from publicly reporting nationwide COVID-19 nursing home data, according to an NBC News report. CMS still hasn't tallied the total number of nursing homes with coronavirus outbreaks, even after announcing it in April, an effort to track and publicly report the data, the report noted. Quote, as nursing homes report this data to the CDC, we will be taking swift action and publicly posting this information so all Americans have access to accurate and timely information on COVID-19 in nursing homes. This reporting requirement is the first action of its kind in the agency's history, CMS said in a statement to the news outlet. Continuing, the agency remains committed to greater transparency and will never stop working to give patients, residents, and families the clearest and most accurate information possible. The new federal mandate requires nursing homes to report COVID-19-related infections directly to the CDC. Additional details about the rule were published last week by CMS. Providers must report a suspected and confirmed COVID-19 infections among residents and staff, including previously treated cases, total deaths, personal protective equipment and hand hygiene supplies in the facility, ventilator capacity and supplies, resident beds and census, access to testing and staffing shortages. In brighter news, several nursing homes across the country use creative ways, like parades, to celebrate Mother's Day over the weekend. But the Nassau Rehabilitation and Nursing Center in New York used a sliding glass door that allowed residents to reunite with their family members to celebrate the holiday while still abiding by social distancing requirements. The nursing home created a visitor's tent that allows them to visit residents from behind a glass wall. Staff members said the method allows for safe human interaction and helped alleviate the emotional toll of social distancing requirements. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.